नमस्ते दिस इज त्रुवीन एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन मोर फीचर ऑफ ए आई एंड पावर प्लेटफॉर्म टूडे लेट्स लेवरेज द कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ पावर वर्चुअल एजेंट्स विद द जनरेटिव ए आई इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन ट्रेन योर ओन कस्टम डॉक्यूमेंट इन पावर वर्चुअल एजेंट्स टू गेट द जनरेटिव आंसर एंड हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज एच आर चैटबॉट फॉर योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो let's get started and talk about that in depth but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter instagram and whatsapp broadcast please do follow me all the links are available in the description box so let's get started so first of all let me show you the end outcome that we are going to achieve here so here i have this type of leave document policy by one of the company called adobe so they have different type of leave policy for national or festival holidays paid time off vacation leave casual leave sick leave lwp and much more now let's say for an example as an employee you have a question and you are asking these questions to your hr so instead of asking to the real person you can ask the questions to your chatbot and this particular chatbot is trained on this document so it will automatically finding the answer from this document and give it to the appropriate result over there so how can we configure this kind of chatbot let's have a look to get started with the chatbot open your power virtual agents and click on create bot provide the name of your bot i am providing my chatbot name as hr chatbot and selecting a language as english you can select any other languages as well from here simply click on create button over here this will setting up your bot now this is the home page of my chatbot first of all we need to use here the feature called generative answer this feature is in preview at this moment so when you go to the overview section you can see an option create generative answer and let's click on get started in ai capability once you click on that you can see the ai capability options over here now you need to use the generative answer feature over here so select this thing from here now here when you scroll down a little bit you have an option to upload a document so over here you can upload your document for the real time responses to the user and the necessary thing here is it is only supporting the text file your file should not have any image audio video or executable files okay so make sure that you follow that now here we need to simply upload our document so here i am uploading simply this live document over here so let me just upload it so i am clicking on browse and let me upload it so i just uploaded this file over here and the file size should be less than 3 mb so remember about that and here we are the file has been uploaded successfully and this is uploaded to dataverse and it is ready for generative answer all right so we are done with that now let's save this changes and you can see that it is showing you over here your bot is setting up the ability to boost the conversation and it will take some time the changes are saved and let's see whether it's working or not all right so you can see here by default the message is showing hello i am azure chatbot how can i help you okay now let me just go to this document and let me just ask any random question to my chatbot and let's see what does it answer so let's say i want to know about lwp okay so i can simply type a question what is lwp so let me type a question and hit enter and let's see what it happens so see it is saying that i am sorry i am unable to help you over here can you please try rephrasing okay when it is showing you this kind of message don't worry because your document is getting trained over here so it will take some time in order to give you the proper output over here all right after getting that kind of message i waited for around 10 minutes over here and now let me try one more time to the same chatbot so let me ask a question again what is lwp 
So let's see what it answers. So it has provided this answer LWP sends for leave without pay and after that you can see this number one. So when you click on that it will show you the reference as well from where does it take the reference. So this is the document you have trained. So from this document somehow it is picking up this particular information. That's what it is trying to say you. Okay, and even here you can see the citation over here. So when you click on citation, so you can see the raw document as well over here. And you can see that LWP part is showing over here to you. All right. Now, let me ask one more question. So how many sick leaves an employee can take throughout the year? Okay, so instead of asking to my HR, I'm asking this question to my chatbot. And let's see what does it send. And over here, it is saying that an employee in India can take up to 10 days of paid sick leave as per the calendar. Okay, so now you can see that over here, if I open it up over here, it is showing me this kind of information and uh, you can see here balance up to 10 and citation also show the detail information to you over here. All right. Now, let's say for an example. If I want to ask that, will I get the pay for the public holiday? Let's see what does it answer. So basically uh, in the documentation, some of the part has been mentioned specifically for public holiday. And it is saying that Indian employee will be India employee will pay 10 days per calendar year as a holiday in accordance with the national and festival holiday. And also when you hover over it, it will show you the detailing around that as well. Okay. Let's say if you just wanted to know something about PTO. So what is PTO? You can simply ask the question over here and the chatbot will find an answer and returning you the output over here as well. Right. So you can see that PTO stands for pay time off and it is providing the other information as well to you. All right. So isn't this cool? I mean, what you did here is you simply train one of the document and that document is being trained and on top of that it generated all the answers. So behind the scene, whenever it answers, it is showing you that surfaced with Azure Open AI. So behind the scene, it uses the technology Azure Open AI to generate this generative answer for yourself. And right now it is picking up all the answers from the document you have uploaded over there. Now, in my, some of my upcoming episodes, I'm going to talk about how you can directly connect your SharePoint document library document over here. And based on that, you can fetch your data inside your chatbot. All right. So this is one more AI powered uh, Sunday session. Hope you really enjoyed it and hope that values your time. If so, please hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. It motivates me a lot to create such good content for yourself. Looking for any paid training or paid consultation? My website link is available over here. You can always connect me over there. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. All the links are available in the channel description box. With this, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.